Hello everybody. I hope there is wonderful weather in whatever time zone you're in. Um, well, this is going to be a fun story that I, I don't like to think about all that often. It was not a pleasant experience, but it was amusing. I, I will say that it was very amusing. So this is why I decided to put it up here. Isn't that going to be fun? But I'll start by talking about the piece that you see in the background. I'm sure you guys have all seen it if you guys join my social media, if you follow me, blah, blah, blah. Or even if you came to the Anime Magic just last weekend. Now this I thought would be a very fun video to make on this particular speed paint because, well, he's my latest muse, Dimitri. So I figured it'd be funny to do a story about one of the worst dates I've ever been on while drawing my husband. So... Yes, that's the entire, that was my entire thought process behind this. For all of you who last joined my video uh, with Howl, you'll see that I made Dimitri relatively the same way. Um, I made him on SAI and um, I used my same bamboo Wacom tablet that's coming close to 10 years old that I need to get a new one of. It still works though, so you know what? I'm gonna keep using it. Um, so that's enough about Dimitri for now and we'll get right into the story time. Y'all are probably gonna laugh at me because of the day and age that we live in. But I don't like kissing on the first date. The idea is just disgusting to me. It makes me nauseous. Like, I don't even know you. Why, why, why would I want you to eat my face when I don't know you? And don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people are totally down for that and that's great. A lot of my family is like that and that's, that's great on them. I'm just not that kind of person. And when I decide to go on a date with somebody, I, am, I let this be known right off the bat. There's it's, that's the first thing I tell them is like, hey, if you go on a date with me, I'm not about hookups and I am not about kissing on the first date or, or just like any of that touchy feely stuff. Like you want to try holding my hand? That's fine. That's, that's not, that's, it's fine. But like anything, anything past that or like a hug, I'm just like, this is really uncomfortable. That's just who I am. Now this is important for later in the story as I, I'm sure all of you can tell where the story is going. Now, getting right into the story, and hopefully I won't jump around quite as much as I did last time. I don't actually remember what his name was, which I guess is for the best, because it was just a mess. I tried to completely get that thought out of my mind. After it happened, I was like, I'm scarred from dating. I never want to do this again. <laughs> anyway, so to start off, it was a Pokemon Go date. So, you know, for any of you who don't play Pokemon Go, I'll explain, is that Pokemon Go is a game where I'm sure even if you don't play it, you've seen it, where you have to walk around to catch Pokemon, right? So my assumption was, okay, we're going to a park, so it should be nice and safe, like we're out in public. My cousin drove me there because I didn't have a car at the time. And that would be fine. And it was totally, it was totally fine. I was like, this will be fine. This guy's been really nice over messages. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, as, this, as the story name says, it was not fine. But so she said, oh, you know, I'll, um, I'll drive home and then I'll come back in like an hour because you at least have to stay an hour because that's proper etiquette, I, I guess. I don't know, I don't go on enough dates to know this, but she, she does. She helped me get ready and everything. It was great. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. So when we got there, I saw him and I was like, there's no way that's him. That doesn't look anything like his pictures, which I'm sure has been said before. It's nothing exciting, but I was like, okay, no, like maybe he's a really nice guy. So I get out of the car and I go to talk with him and he's, he's nice. He's a little quiet, which is fine by me, but like it was quiet in like an awkward way. Like he just kind of seemed like he wanted to keep going to the next place. Like he didn't actually care that I was there. And I was like, all right, this is, this is a little weird. So walking around for a while it's like 90 degrees out it was really hot i don't like hot weather but i was like pokemon go date is perfect because again safety safety and the fact that we're out in public and that'll mean that he's not going to try anything so we're walking around and it's it's fine like things are fine i'm like the only one talking i was basically asking 20 questions of the most boring questions you could ask are you a cat or a dog person what's your favorite color do you like math you know like what's weird weird shit like that so we're walking for a while and this guy is just not contributing to the conversation at all, at all. But like, okay, maybe he's just not a talkative person. I was not feeling the date from like the first five minutes I was there. And I was like low key texting my cousin who drove me there. And I was like, is it rude to just up and leave? 
And she was like, you know, try and stay an hour, maybe it'll get better, you know, like it's fine. And I was like, all right, if I must. So we're going walking around and like, I noticed he doesn't even have his phone out. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just give you a moment to let that sink in. Like this was supposed to be a Pokemon Go date where you catch Pokemon and, and talk. Yeah, so that was a little weird. And I had my phone out and I was playing Pokemon Go because that was, at that point, all I was really there for. So seeing that he wasn't playing it, I was like, all right, a little weird. So we walk by a Starbucks because we were out at like a park and there was a Starbucks nearby. And I was like, I'm pretty hot. I'm going to get like something to drink. Do you want anything? And he like comes in and he just is like, no, it's fine. And I was like, oh, well, don't you want like coffee or tea or something? Like you said in your profile that you liked coffee and tea, which is one of the talking topics we, we talked about. And he was like, no, I don't really like coffee and tea and goes and sits down like super far away from me which was weird too. So I just kind of was awkwardly standing there like, okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll buy my drink and then we can sit down here and talk face to face. You know, like with a table between us, they can't try and eat my face when they're a table across from me. I mean, they can, but it'll be difficult and it'll give me enough time to think it through. So I get my drink and like, I'm hot, I'm tired. I'm like, I could go for just sitting in the air conditioning for a while, this is fine. So I go to sit down with him and he immediately gets up and is like, okay, let's go. And I was like, do you wanna like sit and talk for a while or something? Since he didn't order anything, but like we might as well sit here. And he was just like, no, let's just, let's just go keep walking. And then I was like, okay, but like you didn't even take out your phone for Pokemon Go. So why, why are we gonna keep going if you're not gonna bother doing the date thing? Yeah, it was just, it was just weird. He just, he just up and left. So. I followed him going like, okay, let's just get this date over with because I am beyond bored and uncomfortable at this point. I don't know, just something about his demeanor was just really, really off-putting. I can't explain it because he was just very quiet and just didn't contribute to the conversation, but he was just an, off, an off-putting an off person. And the other thing was like, you could tell something else was on his mind. Like he was doing all of this nice stuff just to get to you know, what usually in this day and age comes after a date. Again, I don't go on a whole lot of dates, so I know that's not completely accurate, but you know what I mean. Now, here's where the story gets a little more interesting. As of now, it's just been a little boring. I'm sure all of you are getting kind of bored at this point. Well, fear not. It gets exponentially worse, for me anyway. Like I said, some of you guys might be listening to this going, that's not that bad, I've had worse, I've done worse. And you know what? I don't care. This was really uncomfortable for me and I never want to do it again. So here we go. We started walking through this park again and I was like, okay, well, you know, we'll go and get some more Pokemon. That's fine. That's fine. And instead we come to a bench and he decides, let's sit on the bench. And I was like, we were just in Starbucks. Why didn't we just stay sitting in there? I don't understand. And then it kind of dawned on me like, oh, he wants to sit on the bench so that we can make out right next to each other. And as I said, me to me is not about this. I'm not about this at all. This is just weird at this point to me. But okay, so I go, well, I wanted to walk around and get some more, you know, Pokestops and stuff. And he goes, no, 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 let's sit down. He like kind of pushed for it and then sat in like the middle of this tiny little park bench. I'm sure any of you who have been to a park knows that I'm talking, what I'm talking about when I say those tiny park benches, they're not large. So he sits down in the middle and I sit down next to him and like kind of as far over to the edge as I can. So I have some leg room to myself, but he just kind of spread eagle is like leg to leg with me. And I am so uncomfortable at this point. So I'm flipping through my Pokemon box, hoping that like something will come up or somebody will say something. And I'm also low key texting my cousin being like, I'm uncomfortable. What do I do? I want to get out of this situation. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> And she was just like, no, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just try and try and be there for like 15 more minutes. You know, it's just the, it's just the proper thing to do. You've only been there for, I was only there like for like 15 minutes at this point. And I was just, I was so over this. And oh, this is just, this is just bad. So he's kind of looking over my shoulder, watching me flip through my Pokemon box, doing nothing. And 
I could tell he was like slowly inching closer and I was like, okay, like red alert, how do I get out of this? I like, get away from me. I don't wanna be this close to you. I am uncomfortable. I told you I would be this uncomfortable like before we ever went on a date. I told you I would be super uncomfortable if you tried stuff with me. Just no, no, I'm just not that kind of person. Ugh, gross, I'm having like, I'm having PTSD flashbacks from this. This kept me away from dating for so long. Oh god. So he then continues to get a little more daring and puts a hand on my leg. My, my rather bare leg because I was wearing shorts because again it was 90 degrees out. And me to me is just, the, the uncomfortable level is slowly rising and getting to where I'm kind of starting to panic. And I'm like, I'm texting my cousin, trying to keep him from looking at my phone because again, he was like kind of trying to like see what I was doing to get closer to me. And I was just like, help, help, help. Like, wee, 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 I need help. I'm, I'm so uncomfortable. Give me a good excuse, please help. And she like wasn't ex responding. So I assumed she was driving. I assumed she was driving home at that point. Uh, he then turns my head and just eats my face off and I couldn't get away from it. I was like, I was trying to like be nice about it and like push him off and be like, no, back away, please. This is uncomfortable. I like, I don't, I think if he was self-aware at all, he would have been like, hmm, this girl seems a little uncomfortable. Cause I was giving off all of the uncomfortable vibes, all of them. I was giving off everything that I could to say, please stop, I'm uncomfortable. So after I was finally able to, you know, get him off of me, I looked at my clock, realizing it really only had been like 20 minutes at this point. It was, it was very short, but very scarring. And again, I texted her and I was like, help, help, like red alert, I need help. I need somebody to pick me up or something. I, I can't do this, um, but you know, fine, whatever. So. I was extremely uncomfortable at this point, and then he goes again a step further and takes takes my leg that is on his hand was on and just lifts it over his legs to where I'm like low key half sitting on his lap. I don't know what part of this guy thought that I was giving off the vibes that said yes, do do that more because I was giving off none. It was terrible. It was it was really terrible. So at this point, I was just kind of like, I don't care if I come off as rude. I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. Get me away. I don't care. I'll walk. I'll walk two hours home if I have to. And he went to kiss me again. And my first thought was, nope, 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 nope. Gross, gross, gross. Not again. Nope, 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 nope. So I stood up backed off of him and was like, okay, this was a great date. Um, my cousin just texted me and told me she needed a ride. So I got to go by, uh, you know, message me. And like, in my mind, I was saying, please, please never message me again. This was the worst. This is just terrible. He looked like a kicked puppy. He looked like I had just shot him in the kneecap. And I was like, you, you shouldn't be the one looking like that. Like, don't look like you, what, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Like you gave, you know what? I won't get into that. Um, so then I called my cousin who hadn't drove home as I thought she did, as she said she was going to. She was like, yeah, you know, I just kind of decided to stay since I could tell like the date wasn't going bad. And I was like, oh, thanks for the help then. You, you were literally no help while I was, you know, dying. I could have had you come up and be like, oh, hey, how's it going? And slowly pull me away from the situation. But no, no, it's fine. I got myself out of there. And she was like, well, what happened? Like, it's only been like 20 minutes. And I was like, I know. I yeeted myself out of there as fast and as hard as I could. And my excuse was terrible. And after telling her the story on the way home, she started dying of laughter. And to this day, she still, it's the same thing as my last story time. She has not let me live this down. She continues to tell me about it and how she's like, well, you know, you can't go on dates anymore because you're gonna eat yourself out of there too fast. And you know what? Yes, yes, I probably would. Because when I give very strict this is what I am uncomfortable with, and they continue to do that. I'll yeet myself out of there as fast as I can, okay? And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, and you know what? I don't care. Give me the hate. Do it. So yes, that was the really terrible dating story I have. I mean, I've got a few that are pretty on par with that, but this one, for some reason, I think it was because I was pretty young at the time. I think I was like 17, maybe? I don't know. I was pretty young at this point, and I just... I was so not about it. 
and it like scarred me. Like my cousin forced me to make a Tinder and I just never touched it again after that. I was like, I can't do this. I don't, I don't ever, ever want to go on a date with anybody ever again. It like ruined, it ruined the concept of relationships for me for a solid like month. I couldn't even like, I, I couldn't even write. I couldn't do anything that had to do with relationships. I just needed like to take a break from it. It was terrible. And for some of you, you're gonna be like, well, that wasn't that scarring. That's not terrible. I don't know, that's how my brain works. So yes, this was my terrible dating story and I really hope you guys enjoyed it to at least some extent. Um, tell me in the comments below if you enjoyed this story more, if you enjoyed my last story more. I can always tell more stories on either of these topics. Tell me what you want to hear about because let's be honest, I have no idea what you guys want. So yes, everybody have a good whatever time zone you're in, whatever time of day it is. I don't know where you are. I don't know where you live. But uh, I hope all of you have a really good day. So peace out. Bye.